disturbing stalkers caught on Twitch live stream. So this one, he did two already. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Prashu Prashimia. their house, but many of them decide to take their followers with them while walking outside. Whether it's an inside look into their lives or a carefully documented list of things they do, many of these streamers blur the social lines of online communication, creating a clear view into their everyday. Even though it sounds kind of fun, and many streamers feel rewarded by- Man, I wanna go to Japan so bad. I ain't gonna lie. At least I think that's where it's at. Well, I be seeing most of these streamers, the IRL, which I'm trying to do some of those, some IRLs in, in, in Japan. I promise you I won't be a nuisance. I'm respectful. I'm God's man. I ain't them. I ain't that Somalian that got caught for being an ass and they kicked his ass out. I heard at least. Or is he still in juvie? But yeah, I'm trying to go to Japan. We gonna be lit. I ain't listening to no bots in the comment section telling me to do anything stupid. I'm not stupid, so don't expect me to do nothing stupid, stupid. But yeah, I'm I'm de I'm doing these one day for sure. At their day to day work, there have been several occasions in which streamers have been approached, followed, and even attacked by some creepy stalkers. Disclaimer: I'm putting it out there in the infinite domain. If somebody try to stalk me, I doubt it. My circadian rhythm, you're going to pick up. Oh, it's level, level 9,000. You're going to pick it up for sure. So, just so. It's possible, though. Some motherfuckers be fried at their mind. You, you follow me, I'm killing you. I'm just letting you know. I'm putting it in the infinite domain. Fortnite, YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. Street Stalker. This 2020 live stream was broadcasted by I'm Jasmine, a Japanese Twitch streamer who unfortunately experienced horrifying harassment on the street while recording. The streamer in this clip was peacefully walking around and interacting with her fans when she sat in a corner. Hello. 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 Suddenly, a man can be seen approaching the streamer and trying to talk to her. The man starts to get a little bit too close to the streamer, who politely tells him that she's on live stream and to please back off. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. That's it, that's it. The man ignores the streamer's request and continues to harass and grope her, even though she tells him multiple times to leave her alone. No, don't stop, man. Ben, stop touching me, man. No, no. Now at this point, the man keeps harassing the poor girl, arriving at the point of even touching her, completely invading her personal space. At this point, the fed up streamer decides to just go home, but when she proceeds to stand up and leave, the stalker starts following her through the streets of the city. Oh, oh my god, man, I gotta go. Stop following me. That's weird as hell. Oh my god, I fucking hate this guy. The girl starts crying and becomes very frustrated and worried due to the unfortunate situation. Stream on myself and be okay. I'm not like leave and like five minutes later someone touches me weirdly. Like all the time. Luckily, the scary man eventually leaves. Days after the fact, the streamer posted a video talking about her experience, explaining that during the stream, she was laughing at first as a mechanism of defense as she was very shocked and didn't know how to react. Yeah, I peeped that. She ain't know how to react and she's still trying to keep face for her viewers. Laugh. I know psychology. Before I learned psychology, I subconsciously know psychology. All the knowledge is in my vessel. What's the planet? 15.5 billion years old. You can't begin to figure out how old neuromelanin is, so just know I got all that data since this planet was created in me and the planet I originate from. Let's continue. Yacked. It's not funny. I just don't know how to deal with myself, you know? So if I laugh, well, that's why. Disturbing fans. During this 2020 live stream, the streamer Sushi Potato came across three male fans who politely asked her to take a photo with them. Oh, you want to take a photo? Sure, sure. Let me. Yeah, yeah, let's take a photo together. Sure, sure. At first, she can be seen happy to meet her fans, but later on, they ask her to remove her hand from her chest because she's wearing a low cut top and wants to cover her body. No, I'm not taking my hand off. No, I'm not taking my hand off. Hell no. Stop it. No. No. I am taking my hand off. 
Turns out that the fans don't settle in too well with her decision, and one of them requests her to remove her hand. When the streamer declines to do so, the other man grabs her hand forcefully and tries to remove it. This is not the first time that Sushi Potato has had to face harassment while streaming. In fact, there are many more videos of the streamer dealing with this exact same situation. Random Creep the fuck? In this clip, also by Sushi Potato, taking place in a 2021 live stream, she's seen talking to a random man in the street, which is pretty standard for her content. Everything seems fine. First, the man simply asks where she's from. Where are you from? Me? Yes. Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica. However, things turn south quickly after she says she's from Antarctica as the man approaches and begins to touch the streamer. She reacts quickly, getting visibly upset and throwing water at the man to try and make him leave her alone. Bye. Get away. Bye. Her quick thinking likely diffused what could have been a dangerous situation. Creepy Mask Stalker In this 2019 clip, the streamer Wreckful is walking through the streets of Japan when he notices something weird. As the streamer is recording, he sees some creepy guy wearing a mask who seems to be following him. Wreckful flips the camera so that his followers can see the situation he's facing and turns to one side of the street to see if the creepy mask guy is actually following him. Wait, he turned. Wait, he turned. Wait, do I run? That couldn't have been me. I'd have killed this ass. Fortnite, YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. This wouldn't have happened. You're going to pick up my circadian rhythm. It's over a level 9,000. Dead ass. I'm Vegeta. I ain't pick a low motherfucker. You ain't going to play with me like this. What? I'm. That's why I'm bringing the guys with me. You're going to have a farm squaring up like Steve Fox at that point. I'm throwing them motherfuckers too. They like jewelry duty. Anybody can get them. I don't believe that, again, they say anything and everything is possible. I'm a, almost everything. That ain't possible. Me walking at this bitch in my power level and these coming behind me? Yeah, alright. This ain't possible. This is crazy. It's dangerous. Everywhere you go is dangerous, though it is what it is. As soon as you step, nigga, as soon as you lay down your bed, you take a risk. Your risk may be lower. As soon as you step foot outside, you take a risk. As soon as you step foot in your vehicle, you take a risk. As soon as you go to a restaurant thinking you finna eat, you take a risk. Motherfuckers get poisoned. Motherfuckers have heart attacks out of nowhere, fall dead, etc. We take a risk with everything we doing. On top of all the poison and bullshit we subjected to on a daily basis, whether you aware of it or not. But this crazy. I like to see I am vlogging or some shit. A uh, live streaming on Twitch and it's a non-playable character walking behind me, spot behind me. He's gonna suffer fall damage because he's gonna fall. Do I do I run? After he's sure that the guy's following him, Wreckful panics and starts to run forward. But when running. he notices that the oh, guy wait, is running. still Towards following, him, he begins to shout at him and ask him what he wants and why he's doing this. Fuck, man! You know me? Why did you do that? As a surprise, the guy starts talking to him with a friend of his, and they both claim to be fans and travel just to see him. A bit creepy, right? Patrick, by the way. Uh, I'm still scared, dude. Yeah, that was weird yeah, as hell. Really this is Dennis. Yep. The Samurai Stalker. Weird ass niggas. In a 2019 stream posted by Twitch streamer Elia Gatto, she's seen one. walking peacefully along with a friend on the street. All of a sudden, the two notice that some creepy guy has been following them, and that the man has a katana with him. Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> they feel uncomfortable and begin to run away in their fear, but the guy continues to follow them. They keep running before a random guy walking by steps in to help them, noticing their situation, and help them get to the police. Oh no, no, he's legit following us! Holy shit! Later, the guy manages to inform the police, and the stalker is apprehended by authorities not long after. Samurai. 
<laughs> Streamer saves girl from a stalker. <clears throat> Crazy out here, dog. This 2020 clip was posted by an Australian streamer called Rob D. The streamer lives behind a kebab shop in Tokyo when he notices a woman in a. I'm going to Tokyo for the ambiance and, and the women. I need to try out every flavor that's out there. You're, that's you weirdos. Let me catch one of those. I'm streaming. Shit. My phone won't be Black Mirror at that point. I'm press the black thing and see you behind me and I'm dropping you off. Cause that's crazy. It's dangerous everywhere you go. It might be more dangerous in Japan than the United States and opposed to, you know, like how kids go missing every 30 to 40 seconds here. I'm pretty sure it's like that there too. The numbers may vary. Nonetheless, that shit happening everywhere. Everywhere there's power, there's corruption. But it's some real life dangerous non playable characters out here. There's Night Stalkers. Man walking together. The streamer notices that the girl is in trouble because she's walking towards the guy, and it could be seen that she's looking for an escape. Hi. Yeah, yeah. The streamer approaches the girl and introduces himself to the stream. Cool ass nigga. They already picked it up. That's crazy. He probably would have took her in the... They ran out of cats to put in the Chinese food. Probably was going to put her in there like Makima. Like Chainsaw Man and Makima. Make some noodle porridge. But shout out to you for doing that. For saving her. It's dangerous. This shit crazy, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's dangerous for me. So, imagine how... Not saying just, I'm talking about dudes, period, but imagine how, how it is for a fee, how vulnerable you is as soon as you step foot outside. You're going to need someone. This is crazy, bro. Who knows what, what his plans were? Stranger is a friend of hers so that he would go away. The creepy guy asks him where he is and starts laughing disconcertingly. Yeah. Where from? Australia. Oh, so wow. Yeah. Huh. Have a good night, man. So, uh, no, there? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But seconds later, the man decides to leave. The girl is really thankful because that action really saved her. Shout out to you. I fuck with pedestrians like you. You an unlockable character or something. You just saved her ass from whatever he had in store. That's crazy. Still good people Aggressive out Aggressive fan. In this live clip, the streamer Ray Demto takes his followers on tour through Amsterdam. Yeah, actually, just down that right there, right over there is a police station. There's, there's, there's police stations everywhere. After saying that he feels safe while being very close to a police station, a random man appears on the camera and puts his arm around the streamer as he speaks to the camera. At first, the man seemed to be friendly, but suddenly he turned aggressive claiming that he would kill the streamer while live. I'm live on Twitch! I'm on the floor! And I'm gonna kill this The stranger grabs him by the neck and the streamer asks him to let go. As the stranger continues, the streamer begs him to let go, but suddenly the screen goes black and Redempto disappears from the camera. Pretty disturbing, what right? Fuck, Stalker. This kind of shit don't happen to us. This ain't possible. Motherfuckers know I'll rip. I'm the Undertaker. What makes you that comfortable to go and put your arm? I mean, you did look like a nice fellow. And your, your power level was 900. Now it's 9,000 by default. It's crazy, bro. You put your arm across me, I don't know you. I'm breaking your arm. You seen how Vladimir Putin, they had Conor McGregor trying to put his arm. Dude, no, Secret Service will neutralize you right here. Don't put your arm across me in New York. Four Twitch streamers are seen walking through New York in this 2021 live stream when suddenly a random guy in a white sweatshirt approaches them out of the- Somebody let me know which one is better, New York or Japan. I'm going with Japan, Tokyo, Japan. Let me know what you think. New York, it's cool. It don't inspire me though. Japan, looking at that and the ambiance, that shit inspirational for sure to me. Like, a, I'm one of the main characters in a manga running around this bitch. 
the blue. The stranger claims that he wants to be their friend and hang out with them, but the streamers find the interaction weird and ask him to stop following. No, I just want to hang out. Oh. But why? It's, uh, it's going to help me out. With? Help you out? Yeah. It's going to help me out. However, the man doesn't seem to care. He claims over and over that he wants to be friends, and he was just friends, clearly making the streamers uncomfortable. Later on, things got even stranger, as the man asked them if he can follow and not talk to them, but keep a bit of distance. I mean, I just need to follow you guys. You guys can talk okay. about whatever you talk about. You know, what do you got? Video games yeah. or something? Go, go, go. It's go okay. I'll just okay. keep watching okay. with you, okay? okay. How is these real people? Zachariah Ascension is right, motherfucker. It was a group of aliens that tinker and tamper with whether it was Shakub, the subplanter that planted these motherfuckers here is to be a, a, a slave race, a naturally confused, violent species, being a 98.7% violent chimpanzee. This shit ain't normal. Nonetheless, he's still a product of this construct wherever he reside and grew up at, but still, though, this shit is body illness. Fuck mental illness. This is soulless NPC, non-playable character. That's dangerous. That is crazy for you to say that. And you ain't got no bird eye view or emotional intelligence to look outside yourself to see how you sound. <laughs> this shit can't be real, bro. This shit cannot be real. Unparalleled, unfathomable fathomable levels of odd, weird, cringy, just, what? Say, so can I just follow you? Maybe. Okay, I need this. Okay. All right. All right. okay. <laughs> this behavior sets off even more red flags, unsettling the streamers. He explains that he really needs to follow him and they need to trust him, but not ask why he needs to do it in the first place. I'm just gonna hang out with you guys. Okay? Oh, I mean, if, you let, if you let me know what it is, I'll help you out. <laughs> What do you need? But otherwise, you know, less Sorry, people, the better. We're yeah. just trying to move, man. Yeah, it's smooth. Let's go. He simply insists on his need to do so. The streamers continue on, with the weird guy following them along the way. But later, he asks one of the women if his friends are bothering them, and he says he's making sure she's away from weirdos. Oh, wow. Are these guys bothering you? Are they bothering you? Oh, no. These are my friends. Oh, they're your friends? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He got bodies in his basement. He need to be attended to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, going off of this Gregorian calendar. He need to be in a padded room with a hazmat outfit on top of his, whatever the fuck the outfit called, where you can't move. Because this is crazy. You can't tell me he ain't chopped somebody up into little pieces and eat them in the basement. You can't tell me. Jeffrey Dahmer isn't the only one. That's just the one you know of in the United States. Russia have his own Jeffrey Dahmer's and John Wayne Gay Gacy's. China got their own. Japan got their own. They're everywhere. Middle Eastern and they weird, cringy, odd, gay, nasty, stupid shit they doing. They everywhere. Just know that. You can't tell me he ain't put hot sauce on somebody's toes while they was chopped up. These people are dangerous, bro. I'm telling you, make sure you got your life skills. Make sure you're competent. Make sure you can scan people's circadian rhythm. Make sure you got some kind of weapon or something on you. They got guns that look like a phone. It's one long-ass sniper rifle like bullet in that bitch, but it can save you. Make sure you got some shit. If you got the money, y'all be donating to streamers. Put some money into getting some jujitsu down pack. Get some Keanu Reeves, John Wick skills down pack. You counting on this shit not to happen to you, but it happened to people. Happened to the best of us. To the it's dangerous out here, especially for a female. That shit crazy. If you a female man, you better get you a man. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna need it when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from. 
You're going to need someone to you independent feminist, belligerent immigrant thoughts that think you can do it on your own. I right, let him get beside you. He might hit you upside your head with a something that go to a car and then put you in the back of the doom buggy like Ted Bundy and take your ass involuntarily. Then you wake up in a whole nother universe because you did. This is crazy. This shit's scary. Okay, I'm just trying to protect you from the weirdos, you know. Um, so many fucking weird pieces of shit around here. That's a pretty funny conclusion, isn't it? <laughs> Threatening stalker call. So, you? You see? Him? I was just speaking about this shit. You want to kill him? I want to kill him. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Vic? I'm going to kill you. I get that count of money. You know how rappers put 50,000, 500,000 to a chain? Even a Floyd Mayweather. I heard he spent like 18, 16 million on a watch. I ain't here to tell you what you can do with your money. Guess what? He inevitably doing it for some pussy. You doing that? Drake ain't got to do half of that. He still can take that pussy you do it for. That's a L. Hold that Floyd Mayweather. That's crazy. You know what you could have did with that? I get 1% of that. Nigga, I'm undergoing my Keanu Reeves training. I don't care if it's five years straight. I'm going to assemble and dissemble guns with a blindfold on in a few seconds. I'm going to be reading maps. I'm going to be... Yeah, all that shit. Working every gun. Own every gun. I'm going to have real Call of Duty Black Ops guns that's diamonds and coated and gold and with emblems on them and shit. Just know I get that money. I'm undergoing my Keanu Reeves training. And opposed to spending that on a chain and being a drop off. Because if a nigga like this come in here, he can drop you off easy, effortlessly. You ain't even going to put a... You ain't going to get a scratch on his suit. He just going to drop... I can't be a drop off. So, yeah... That's crazy. <sighs> While streaming live, JD Ann was recently accosted by her stalker during her regularly scheduled content. Oh wait, my dad is calling. Hold on. Hello, Papa. The man on the other end of the line threatened that if the streamer did not expose herself on stream, he would kill her father. The clip of the ordeal is short as Jade keeps her composure and listens to the man on the other end of the call. The only show of emotion in her expression as he threatens her. The conversation takes place in German, so viewers were left speculating about what was happening. On the other end of the line, JD Ann explains that the stalker was hurling verbal abuse towards the streamer before finally escalating to physical threats against her family. Jade quickly confirmed that her family and father were safe before quickly contacting law enforcement about the interaction. As the popular Just Chatting streamer was well known for her content, this was not the first time she dealt with stalker abuse. One time having a person send 25 pizzas to her, and another time having the fire department called on her location. Indirect contact. Sweet Anita, a lovable Twitch streamer with Tourette Syndrome, is well known for her content on Twitch. She has also been publicly dealing with her stalker for several years now. With a lengthy, ongoing legal battle, she attempts to keep herself safe. Well, I'm not going to milk the situation. I'm going to, I'm happy to be open about it and my experiences, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm so scared. I sure hope you all donate to me and stuff. You don't need to throw money at me out of pity or anything. I'm cool. She quickly learned how awful the situation would get after she was assaulted in 2019 by a man she went on to get a restraining order for. So I went through the gate and they held it closed so that he couldn't pass them and continue to follow me. No contact was allowed between the two, but despite this, the man continued to leave threatening, dangerous messages directed at Anita. While streaming, Anita caught him leaving her cryptic messages and decided to take matters into her own hand. She confronts the man head on, informing him that it counted as indirect contact and telling him that there are ways to prove it. That's not gonna end well for you. Stop. Genuinely. This clip from 2020 is one of the most recent and aggressive online altercations between the two, as he continued to threaten the British streamer bodily harm, despite the legal proceedings surrounding her interactions. What the fuck? 
This shit is it's odd. Man, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling and I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Does she have Tourette's? That's crazy. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.